Hi, welcome back to Barbara's Den. And I'm back with another video because I want to show you how I make my ramen noodles and how I try to make them make it as healthy as possible. Being it says it has no MSG, but for what I understand, these ramen noodles are not good for you. But this is a poor man food. For some reason, I just love on the noodles. I always try to put um, different types of herbs, seasoning, olive oil, whatever in it. You know, to try to make it healthy. But the seasoning packet tastes so good. But it says it has no MSG in it. This has no MSG. But the thing is, so what I do, this is my favorite little frying pan I got from, um, I bought it from a, a thrift store. I thought this would be perfect. So, I already have my water in it. To make it cook faster, I boil my water in the kettle first and I have my love you to the moon and back mother free cup that I bought for myself. I ran the Dollar Tree and got, all, and, and got all these cute little cups. And I'm going to make me some, um, I'm going to make, I'm going to make me some herb tea but first of all I got um, I went in there on the piggly wiggly there were no ramen noodles except for these sitting on the shelf I said oh you must not like shrimp so I said I don't care because I don't use the seasoning package anyway but so I just take my noodles and I put it in the water in the water and this is the package. Let's see, they said this has no MSG. But does this package have MSG? I don't know. It doesn't say. It says the flavor. This flavor is so good. It got to have MSG in it. So, oh, scare me, boy. Where you going? You going to walk in the ring? Hmm? You going to walk in the ring? Oh, okay. Well, you got your look like colorful green. Neon, rain coat them. But then again, you used to walking, so I uh -huh. But anyway, that's my son, Brandon. So what I do, I just take this and I, um, mm, put it in the hat, put it in the trash. So, mm, see, um, I got my hair in two braids, but I sleep at night and they come apart. So that's why I'm not gonna show my hair again because I don't have any on. Anyway. Okay. A fork. Uh, this is a fork. When my grandmother died, I got her silver. So this is a fork that came from her. She has this um these. Anyway, it's antique. So. Um, lift my noodles. Lift my noodles so they won't stick to the pan. So I guess this is going to be my, what do you call it? Mukbang, whatever, I don't know. But, see so how I'm going to make my noodles. And this is shrimp noodles. But it won't be shrimp noodles when I finish because I don't use the seasoning, because the seasoning, what I've heard over the years, and I love me some seasoning, that it's not good for you, it causes all kind of issues, and when I came down to diabetes, the only thing I could trace it back to was the noodles. So I stopped eating noodles, everything that may have caused the diabetes. 
And I didn't really have diabetes back then. My sugar was only like 130 in the morning before I ate. And he said that was officially diabetic and put me on medication. And I told him I'm not going to be on it. So I took it for a little while, you know, figuring out, learning how to do the test. You take the thing, take the finger stick, all of that. And I did that for a couple of months. My sugar was back on the 100 where it normal. Six months later, four to six months later, I just slowly weaned myself off of it. Didn't take it no more. Ate right. It never went back to eating these things until now. So now that I say I love ramen noodles. Now they want to say the noodles aren't good. Noodles is noodles. I don't know. I don't know what noodles is. But anyway, until I find out what's so bad about the noodles, um, until, and, and, until I can figure out how to get the noodles that are healthy. Because I don't really, they're in the stores, but they may be half blind and hard to see and hard to find things and look at everything and my vision, I'm not focusing properly. It is what it is. But anyway, I like my noodles soft. I, I, I don't I like my noodles real soft, real soft. So, and I put in this pan, it's perfect because I put in enough water. I put in enough water. That way when but down the noodles finish, I don't have to drain the water off. Because I like the soup. And then it'll be like maybe a little bit of soup left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's soft enough because I don't want it to burn or stick to the pan. So I remove it from the heat. See it's still there on the Ooh. Hot. Ooh. Got a pothole here somewhere. You see it don't have a lot of still got the soup in it, but it's not a lot of soup. I let it boil down. So it's just enough soup in it that it's not water or anything. Cause I like my real noodles real soft anyway. Like that good like in the restaurant, you go to the restaurant, the noodles all got some stiffness to it. I don't like I don't want no stiffness to my noodle. So now we cook it off. So what else do I do now? This is what I do next. Obey. This is what I use in place of the seasoning. I put it to about what the amount of the seasoning is in the package, or just to my taste. And I use this. I put in, and I didn't show you this, but, but while the water was boiling, I put granola oil in it. I have granola oil. Just whatever I feel at the moment I want to use. I have avoca avocado oil. Just whatever I think about using at the time. And I have olive oil. And I think I used all of the olive oil. Well, this is granola and olive oil. I used to have just olive oil only until I start learning about the other different oils and how I can cook with them. So I cook with just olive oil and I found this one in the um in the big box store for four dollars. Granola and extra virgin olive oil. I don't know if it's the best or not, but it is what it is. And then I use that. Okay. Okay. So what am I going to do next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This bowl, all I think every time I, my husband likes to go to uh, KLC, and I don't eat the meat or anything, so I always get the mashed potato bowl. I used to get the famous bowl with the mashed potatoes and the um. We used to, used to I told him I, I would get the famous bowl, but I found out you didn't have to get the chicken. So, you can just get the bowl without the chicken. That's okay, good. So, I started getting the bowl without the chicken. And as I progress in my vegan diet, 
I've completely took milk products out. So I said, so I just want um, I just want a mashed potato bowl. I just get a mashed potato bowl like you would normally get with as a as a side to a big family meal. And I would now get just a mashed potatoes and and a cup of gravy. So that's what how I would do that. And what I do is um just put it in here. And I wash these bowls and I wash these bowls and use them over and over again. Just because I just want to. Mm. So I'll be back when I'm doing next is Okay, I go to the health food store. I have ginger tea. I got rosebud tea the other day, but it's the one you got to brew. So I need to get me. I had coffee pots here, but people around here have a tendency to break stuff. So I'm gonna get me another little small coffee pot. What well, I got a um, I got me a little teapot, but I need to be able to strain the tea. My grandmother has a strainer that 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 I got. Maybe I can use that, use my, um, this is, uh, I got this little teapot from the Goodwill, a little antique little teapot, and my grandmother has a little tea strain that I probably can, um, but you still need to sit in, you need a little strain, a coffee strain or whatever, but anyway, I'll figure it out, sit it in here, pour the water, and have my rosebud tea, cause that is good. See, in this, in this coronavirus um, pandemic um, um, technology world we are in now, we're gonna need to know how to take care of ourselves because hospitals and doctors, <clears throat> ain't gonna be looking out for you. And I also have the dandelion tea, but I choose to get the ginger tea this time to eat with my ramen noodles. The thing I gotta do is mm. so get one of the tea bags. The thunder and I guess tropical storm author is on the way. So that's what I do I got a little in my um, room around there, Barbara's den around there. Um, I got a, um, it's a china cabinet. It's a china cabinet, the top part to a china cabinet. I got that, and I set it on the floor, and I turn it into, and I just got it sit on the floor, not on a little desk or anything like it would come, so it sit on the floor, and it's just a cute little cabinet. And I keep all I keep all kind of stuff in there. My herbs that are unopened. I can need my teas in there. All kind of stuff. All kind of stuff is in there that I use to to manage my health issues, which are whatever. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do. I'm going to end this video, and then I'm going to restart another video, eating my ramen noodles. Okay, bye. Hi. Welcome back to Barbara's Den. And I'm back with another video, because I want to show you how I make my ramen noodles. And how I try to make, them, make it as healthy as possible. Beans. It says it has no MSG. But from what I understand, these ramen noodles are not good for you. But this is a poor man food. For some reason, I just love ramen noodles. I always try to put um, different types of herbs, seasoning, olive oil, whatever in it. You know, to try to make it healthy. 
but the seasoning packet tastes so good. But it says it has no MSG in it. This has no MSG. But the thing is, so what I do, this is my favorite little frying pan I got from, um, I bought it from a, a thrift store. I thought this would be perfect. So, I already have my water in it. To make it cook faster, I boil my water in the kettle first and I have my love you to the moon and back mother free cup that I bought for myself. I ran the Dollar Tree and got, all, and, and got all these cute little cups. And I'm going to make me some mom. Um, I'm going to make, I'm going to make me some herb tea. But first of all, I got, um, I went in there under Piggly Wiggly. There were no ramen noodles except for these sitting on the shelf. I said, oh, you must not like shrimp. So, I said, I don't care because I don't use the seasoning package anyway. But, so I just take my noodles and I put it in the water. In the water. And this is the package. Let's see, they said this has no MSG. But does this package has MSG? I don't know. It doesn't say. It says the flavor. This flavor is so good. It got to have MSG in it. So, oh, you scared me, boy. Where you going? You going to walk in the rain? Hmm? You going to walk in the rain? Oh. Okay. Well, you got your look like colorful green neon rain coat on. But then again, you used to walking, so I uh -huh. But anyway, that's my son, Brandon. So what I do, I just take this and I, um, mm, put it in the hat, put it in the trash. So, mm, 